Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Makar Kandash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truth and sincerely, and Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truth and sincerely as well too, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, Ephesians chapter 1 through verse 18. And this is a uh, title of a sit down lesson. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Be ye therefore followers of Yahweh, which is Yahweh our Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel, because us being the sons of the Most High. And I'm going to read it again. It says, uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. Be ye therefore followers of Yahweh and dear children. Ephesians 5 and 2. And walk in love as Hamashiach. How shall I also have loved us and have given himself for us and offering a sacrifice to Yahweh for a sweet smelling Savior? And this is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 3. But fornication and uncleanness and covetous, let it not be once name among you as become saints. Ephesians 5 and 4. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking or jesting, which are not covenant, convenient, but rather give of thanks. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 5, and the reason of all the scriptures. For this ye know that no whoremonger nor unclean person nor covetous man, or who is an idolater, has an inheritance in the kingdom of Hamashiach Abishai, our Lord. I mean, and of our God, Yahweh of Israel. Ephesians 5 and 6. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh for wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 7. Be ye not ye therefore partakers with them. Right, no commit acts, no commit evilness and wickedness and seek the ways of evilness and wickedness. You know, that's why it says Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6, it says, Let no man deceive you with vain words, right, philosophies, vain deceit, you know. So we got to turn from those ways and separate from those ways and come back into the ways of the Heavenly Father. And through the Heavenly Father, you have one, it's only got to say you have a shot through righteousness, you know, to the best of our ability, you know. But continuing on, this is, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start at verse 6 again. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6, and reads to the Holy Scriptures. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. Ephesians 5 and 7. Be ye not therefore partakers with them. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8. For ye were sometimes uh, darkness. I'm going to read that again, uh, Salakia, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as the children of light. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 9. Right, because that's, that's that old man. <clears throat> you know, we got to dust off that old man and come back into that, that new man, you know. The new man of uh, coming, you know, that new man is and that's coming into the righteous ways of the Heavenly Father and leave off that old man that we fought new in the world, you know. Because that's why it says in Ephesians 5 and verse 8, it says, For ye were sometimes in darkness, right? We was in darkness in the past first, you know. Now we're coming back into the marvel, the marvelous light of the righteous words of the Heavenly Father, coming back into who we actually are as being the sons. The sons and daughters of the Most High uh, coming back into righteousness, you know, seeking wisdom and knowledge and understanding, coming back into who we are as being the sons and daughters of the Most High, turn away from evilness and wickedness. You know, that's that old man, you know. Now we were sometimes a dark, you know. Now we're uh, slowly but surely trying to uh, get into the ways of being the children of the light, you know, because we once was, was in darkness.
following the ways of this world, following different ways of doctrine, follow anything that's evilness and wickedness, glorify evilness and wickedness. You know, that's that old man and into the world uh, was in the world's darkness, you know. We once was, you know. Now we are slowly but surely coming out of those ways and entering that new man of following the ways of righteousness, you know, to the best of our ability, you know, and coming back to who we actually are, you know. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, which is this word. This is a uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 10. Proving that what is acceptable unto the Lord. Right, that's uh, righteousness, seeking the ways of righteousness. And that's the ways of acceptable unto the Lord. You know, proving ourselves, we gotta prove ourselves to the Lord that we actually want to come back into the ways of righteousness and be acceptable unto the Lord. And that's following the ways of righteousness and turn away from evilness and wickedness, you know. And I'm going to go back to verse 9, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 9, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Right? Because this truth is, is, is uh, the spirit of righteousness and all goodness and righteousness and truth, which is this uh, truth. You know, John 8, 32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So following the ways of this, following the ways of this truth, it's uh, for the spirit, for the fruit of the spirit is all goodness. Right, following the ways of this truth, it's all in the spirit of goodness and righteousness and truth. You know, this uh, righteous truth of ours that the Heavenly Father given us back to us in the body of our shield and shot for that. And I'm going to go to verse 10, read it once again. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 10, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. Proving what acceptable unto the Lord. Ephesians 5 and 11 and it brings to the Holy Scriptures and having no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them so so we definitely can't follow so we can't follow in the in the fruits of, of darkness and fellowship with no person with unfruitful works of darkness, you know, following the ways of evilness and wickedness, so we cannot follow that path. We, we gotta follow the path of fruitful righteousness. That's the sign of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. So, as us Israelite men, we gotta, we can't follow the ways of uh, darkness and the fruitful works of darkness, you know. Because that's going to be exposed, so the Heavenly Father is going to expose that, you know. So we can't be in the path and not fellowship with no person. You know, we cannot fellowship with no person that does unfruitful works of darkness, you know. But rather approve them, and that's by the words of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 12, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them secret, right? That's evilness and wickedness and, and spiritually unfruitful works. And that's the works of darkness, you know. That's why it says, it's for it is a shame to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. And this is Ephesians chapter 5 verse 13, and it reads in the Holy Scriptures. But all these things that are reproof are made manifest by the light. For whosoever does make manifest his light. This is Matthew 15 and 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach Abishai shall give thee light. Like scripture says, can these dry bones live? You know, as the scripture says, Ephesians 5 and 14, you know, it says, Wherefore, he saith, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. So we got to come out of, you know, come out of our slumber, come out of the, uh, the ways of slumberness, of what Babylon promote us to conform into those ways. So we got to come out of the ways of uh, Babylon 
because we've been spiritually asleep and we've been spiritually led of following the ways of Babylon for false long. So we got us, you know, we got to uh, snap out of it, wake up out of our sleeps, you know, the valley of dry bones, you know. And I'm reading again, this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14, it reads to the Holy Scriptures. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach, Yahweh shall give thee light, which is our Lord and our Savior shall give thee light. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you all circumspectly, right? Watch our surroundings. Be cautious, be careful of what we're doing as we be circumspectly, you know? Not as fools, right? But not as fools, not walk around as fools, but as wise, you know? So that's what we gotta do in these uh, times that we are in. in our everyday walk of life, and our everyday walk of truth, and the times that we're about to approach. So we definitely gotta be circumspectly. Wise as serpents, harms as doves, and applying wisdom and knowledge and understanding. He can read that uh, Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6 as a prime example. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. It says, Redeeming the times because the days are evil. Right? Because we see what's taking place in the world today within our inner circle, within our outer circle, and what's taking place around the world as we see the evils is only going to increase. The seditions, the uprises, the upwards. Uh, Matthew 24 and 12 as a prime example. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So we gotta be uh, wise as serpents, harmless as doves, walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Because that's that applying that wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. It's like it says in uh, Revelations 1 and 3, blessed he that readeth. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16. I'm reading again for edification's sake of the sit down and listen. It says, redeeming the time because the days are evil, right? We are entering it. We're slowly but surely entering in those times, you know? So wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Ephesians 6 and 10, putting on the whole armor of your house so we can stand against the wiles of the deceiver. Revelations 12 and 12, because the ultimate deceiver should come down with great wrath, but he will know he have in a short time. First Peter 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the deceiver, shall walking as a warring lion, make it see that we may devour. So those are prime examples of scriptures of the uh, evil times that we are uh, about to enter into, uh, slowly but surely. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse uh, 17, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures from the Blue Blue Letter Bible, KJV of the Holy Scriptures of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17. And it reads, it says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understand what is the will of the Lord is. And this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. And be not undrunk with wine, wherein is exceeded, but be filled with the Spirit, right? but be filled with the Spirit of righteousness. And not be uh, drunken, drunken in all the ways of the philosophies of this world but be spiritually filled with uh, righteousness. And that's from the Holy Scriptures and from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of Israel, you know, and applying wisdom and knowledge and understanding, you know. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying as I uh, read, the, uh, read the Scriptures of uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, through all the way through verse uh, 18. And it was the title of the sit-down lesson, so hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akia. See, at the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.